Google's project IDX seems like a great advancement of tech in the programming world. To give you a little overview, project IDX is a web-based development environment where the entire development environment is hosted on Google Cloud Server. So basically, on the screen you'll have a VS Code-like editor because project IDX is actually VS Code powered. And then behind the scenes you don't actually run any of the computation, meaning you don't run any of the software on your machine. Instead, it runs on a server that is hosted by a virtual machine that Google owns. So it doesn't matter what type of laptop you have, whether it's the best MacBook or the cheapest low performance laptop that you can ever possibly find. As long as you have an internet connection and an internet browser, you can pretty much run any type of code that you want without any performance issues. Because the code is not running on your computer, but rather on a cloud hosted computer. Now imagine the benefits of this. There are many smart people with so much potential who are unable to make the best use of their skills due to financial instability. But Project IDX could solve this issue for them. They would no more have to worry about buying an insanely expensive laptop to run their performance intensive code. You just need a bare minimum laptop capable enough to fire up your browser and then IDX will take care of the rest. And this is especially helpful in mobile development as well. Because mobile development like Android or iOS development usually requires your laptop to be a little on the high end side. But with IDX, anybody can get started right away. In their current launch, it seems like Google supports Flutter and Firebase integrations. But it also supports other modern web development frameworks as well as full stack web application development like Next.js, Vue, React, and so on. Basically all the popular ones. It also allows developers to bring in existing code from the GitHub repository. And then on top of it all, rather than using GitHub Copilot as an AI model to help you code, it instead has Google's Palm AI built into your code to help write better code for you. This should be really powerful and a great user experience. Google is also going to roll out support for built-in multi-browser web previews, Android emulators, and iOS simulators, which will allow developers to assess their creations just as end users would experience them before deploying the apps. Another interesting feature of Project IDX is that it fulfills the modern developer's needs by allowing them to do their work from any location using any device. This is what Replit has been doing all this while, which is why it is adored by developers across the globe. So all in all, this definitely has a lot of potential and can do wonders in the future. I'm surely looking forward to its upcoming releases as well. So comment down regarding what you think of Project IDX about whether you genuinely think it's beneficial or not. So that's all for the video, do drop a like and subscribe to the channel for more.